Now, our web page has text, but no images. Let's fix that. Now, much like adding and editing text, adding and editing pictures to a website is fairly simple and intuitive. And if you've ever done it for a word processor, it should come fairly naturally. First, choose where you want it to go. Let's start out just by putting it at the top of the page. We'll probably change that later, but for right now, it'll suit our purposes. Now, after you've got the cursor where you want the picture to go, click up here to Images, or Image, on the toolbar and click it. Now, this is very important. You are not loading a picture into the website. What you're doing is telling the website where to go to find that picture. Basically, you're giving it the address of where to go look for it. So, it's very important that you either A, make sure the website doesn't change, or B, and this is the option I prefer, make sure that your pictures and your web files are in the same folder. This way, as so long as you move them together, they'll stay the same, they'll know where each other are. Now, let's upload this picture called Small. I'll explain what big is, big is for in a moment. So, select the file and open it. Now, first, we need to provide some alt text. This way, if for some strange reason the website can't find the picture, it'll still display, display some text explaining what it is. So, this is me in front of the Spanish steps, so let me say that. Now, we have alt text. Let's make sure this picture is the right size. You always want to make sure about this because if it's, say, a full size, full resolution image, it's going to be so big you can't see anything else on the web page. Now, as it is, it's 160 by 240 pixels, which sounds about right, so I'll, I'll leave, it as, leave it as it is. So, I select OK. The picture shows up, and we're done. Save it. Go to Browse, and let's see what it looks like. And there you go. I'm happy with that. Now, big versus small. You want to make sure that your picture is a fairly small resolution. Otherwise, it's going to take a very, very long time to load. Now, since I'm currently just loading the pictures from my laptop, it's kind of hard to show how long it takes to load since the file is so close. But, on a full-size website, online, if you have a very, very large picture file, it's going to take forever to load. If you've ever been on a website and watched as the pictures loaded slowly, bar by bar, this is because someone forgot to compress the images before they uploaded them. Now, since here and here, the picture is mm, about 150 by 200 pixels, we don't really need a very large full resolution image. Details just going to be lost, it's a very large file, absolutely no reason to waste the bandwidth. So, before you upload a picture, make sure it's compressed to about the size it's going to be when displayed. If it's a little larger, no problem. Look, little, little details are going to be lost, but it's not that big of a loss. Well, as you can see, our website now has a picture, so we are done.